Podcast Show. We're back with another video, guys. And I just want to let everybody know that the one week giveaway, the seven day giveaway is finally over. It ended this Sunday at 11.59 p.m. I hope everybody got their entries. After that, they can't get in, right, Frank? Yeah, so after Sunday night, that's it, guys. Anything after 12 a.m. goes to the 2020 Duramax. Yes, which we will be picking up here pretty soon in the next couple of days. We took the truck back to the wrap place because we actually put a high country grill. We dropped it off at the wrap place over there with my boy Kevin at, at Remspec. And uh, we also dropped off the grill. So they will be wrapping the grill. And I think I told them to wrap the handles as well because they were black. But even though if they do the handles or if they don't, the handles still look good black. So just want to let everybody know we will be going live on our YouTube channel this Thursday, 420. It's weird that it fucking lands on the 420 day right yeah it's just a coincidence but i mean this thursday guys at 6 p.m central time we'll be going live on our youtube channel and we only do giveaways on our youtube channel if you get a message on facebook if you get a message on uh, youtube if you get a message uh, on instagram if you get any kind of message a text message or whatever a comment or whatever that is not us i literally just had a guy today asking me if this was legit and i read the message and i'm like bro are you seriously asking me if this is real? This guy was trying to get a MacBook or something like that, oh. bro. Yeah, he had to send some kind of information. You know, some bank information. I don't know what the fuck, but it's fucking stupid, bro. Come on, you, you guys know better than this. Yeah, so there's scams out there, guys. So don't fall for it. If they ask you, hey, send me money because you want a chainsaw, you didn't win a chainsaw, guys. We don't give away chainsaws. Or MacBooks or nothing like that. The only thing that you will win here at On The Gas Racing is trucks, and money we're gonna be calling you you have to be getting a phone call from me from Perillo, from machete from frank from tiny it's only us we're not gonna text you when i hit you i'll be like hey you're the winner for this you're the winner for that you gotta send us this information or this it doesn't work like that we only do our giveaways live guys on our youtube channel sometimes i go live on instagram as well while we're doing we got two phones we're on youtube and we're on instagram so we'll be going live on our youtube channel so make sure to stay tuned, 6 p.m. Central Time. So we're gonna be calling the winner and the winner will be taking this badass truck and $5,000 in cash. Doesn't get any better than that. Y'all can actually put your own sauce on the truck or you can use that money for anything else. House payment, car note, if you got another car note, truck note or whatever, you can put it on the truck. If you want to put new wheels or put, I don't know, what can you do to a truck, Frank? Oh, you can do a lot of stuff. New wheels for sure. If you don't like the hood, swap the hood. If you don't like this, you don't like that, swap it. Exactly. Now, like I said, and I promise you guys, we added a kill switch because these trucks are notorious for them to be getting stolen. That's the last thing that we want. The last thing that we want is the winner to be upset or sad because they stole the truck. So we added a kill switch actually this morning and we're obviously, we're not gonna tell you guys what's the kill switch, right Frank? Of course not. But the winner, once he receives the truck, if he's in town, he's in Texas or decides to fly in, cause sometimes they fly in and wanna drive the truck back, we'll show them in person where it's at. Exactly. Now, we usually, when you win the truck, we usually take care of everything. We ship the truck, we ship the title with it and everything. If you are the winner here in Texas of any of our giveaways, we deliver and we will do the title change and all that good stuff for you. You don't have to pay nothing and you don't have to worry about transportation. You don't have to worry about title change or nothing like that. If you're in Texas, we take care of the title change. If you are out of state, well, we will ship the truck to wherever you're at. If you can't make it here, we can ship the truck to wherever you are with a transporter. The only thing we can't do, we can't change the title in another state because we're not in that state. But here we got the plug. We'll change the title for you. So this Thursday at 6 p.m. Central Time, we'll be going live to the truck. And unfortunately, there's only going to be one winner. And that one winner will be taking the truck and the cash. Like I said it before, I wish everybody can win you know but it doesn't work like that so there's only gonna be one winner and I wish luck to everybody that participated and if you don't win do not be a sore loser maybe it's not your time maybe your time is the next one maybe your truck is the 2020 you know what I'm saying and we got a lot of badass giveaways coming up so we're gonna be giving away a bunch of trucks we're gonna be blessing one by one slowly but surely we're gonna be blessing one by one with the badass truck you know how we do it on the guests and the truck looks amazing y'all look at the stance a lot of people when i was going to put the fender players there was a lot of people talking about the fender players do not put the fender players do not do it this isn't this, this, that do, 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 do. guys y'all just gotta let me do what i do this is what i do you know what i'm saying like this is what i do so y'all just gotta let me do my thing and we're gonna give you a product like this doesn't get any better than that. We added a hood just to, you know, make it pop something different. You know what I'm saying? We don't usually do the hoods. And for everybody been asking about Little Uzi, 
Little Uzi's right here. She's been sleeping. It's been hibernating yeah. or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But this is the first time that we do a hood like this. So we did the HD with the Z01 style hood. We also did an HD grill. The and we did the HD pad as well. And the Z71 balance with the fog lights. You can clearly tell with the circle fog lights. The other ones are not circle. They're sideways. They're a little. They're just, just different. Do you have them on your truck? Which ones? No, he's got this one. No, I got these. You got this? All right. He's cool. Yeah, you're cool, cool bro. bro. <laughs> so another thing that we did to the truck, the trim on the side, just because this body style comes with a real long trim that doesn't look that good. So we had to take it off. This truck had Billy steps. We power coated these things in black. You cannot forget about the nice snug top in the back. It's a nice slick snug top. It's low, it's good, it looks fancy, it looks good. Smoke tail lights and third brake lights. We also, the whole truck is color match all the way around. The bumpers, every plastic, the handles, the mirrors, all that good stuff. Also, forgot about we polished the wheels. Big shout out to my boy Juan Serna always coming through and hooking us up with the nice polish on the billet wheels, which is called what, Perreo? Space City Polishing, baby. There you go. Also, my boy Manny hooked us up with the sound system on this truck. You can see we got two eights facing each other, TD panel, everything behind the seat. With the nice, logo. With the logo, of course. Everything nice and wrapped in, in vinyl. Doesn't get him any better than this. This is a real simple, nice giveaway. You can take this truck to the show. You can take this truck to work. You can drive it to school. Pretty much you can do anything. It has 20 inch wheels all the way around. You can actually put a hitch on this thing and tow with it as well. You know what I'm saying? True. The tire's not that thin. You can actually tow with this one. If I towed with uh, Denali on 30s, bro, on a 30 series tire, bro. Yeah, low profile. Of course, y'all can, can definitely tow this one. Look, we got the same thickness of tire. There you go. So, y'all can tow on this one. You actually need to put a hitch. We didn't put a hitch. Because it's not meant to tow, but if you want to tow. Your, hey, you're side by side. Or you're side by side. You're, you're four wheeler. Now, you can't hook up to a three car hauler with it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you can hook a small trailer to it if you put a hitch. And we will be taking this truck with a boy head off and give it the nice final touch, that little detail that it needs. So, whenever we call the winner, we're going to pick up a brand new 2001 style truck. We can't forget about the best. What's that? The supercharger? The supercharger. Sweet. This is what makes this truck so special. Not only that, you see the supercharged badge right here. Supercharger light over there. Clean interior, nice center console. Everything's nice on this truck. Check this nice Whipple supercharger. Real clean. Like I said, guys, this truck came like that from the dealer. So I don't know if it was like a special order or it was a special made or it was like a style that that dealer had to offer. I don't know. But as we can clearly see that it's well done. Look, this plastic looks real original. It works really good. The truck performs real badass. No lights on the dash. Long tube headers. Orla XR1 exhaust. My boy uh, uh, Rolando. The way to win this truck was either you buy this. It's just paper decal. That one and the brush on the gas logo, which is over here in the back. So if you have not received your merchandise just yet, it is on the way. It's coming. You were usually pretty quick on a regular day to ship out. Max is a week. But with these giveaways, when we do the giveaway like this one, it usually takes a little longer just because orders are coming in. For the people that we got working there, they're busy. With, I mean, they're doing the regular orders and they're doing the giveaway orders. So it usually takes a little longer. But your shipment is on the way. Do not worry. Your name is still in the list. As soon as you press pay, your number, your name, all your information is in the list. You don't have to actually have your stick in order for you to be entered on the giveaway right Frank yeah and there's actually been some winners that haven't received it and they've won the truck exactly so as soon as you press pay your information goes in the system everything's automatically in there you do not have to worry about nothing like I said if you haven't received your stuff if you haven't received the confirmation number that is shipped is because it hasn't been shipped whenever it's ready to get shipped you're gonna get an email with the tracking number and all that good stuff do not worry your stuff is on the way guys i promise you it should not be taking more than the following week to get it like i said we are uh, working we got the whole team working uh, and shipping all the stuff that's just the way it works right now so today we're going to be visiting my boy russell at velocity we decided to go with a built motor on the Red Bull, which is in the back. So my boy has one in stock. We're gonna head over there, go talk to him. Also, I need some new tires for the Holly truck. So we're gonna be picking up a new set of tires because the B-Lock was messed up with the other tires that I had. And we're gonna picking up the new motor. Like I said, little Uzi is here behind us. It's still fast, right? I mean, we haven't raced in a while, but last time it ran, it was running pretty fast. It was running pretty fast and it had a smaller motor. Now it has a bigger motor. It had a 370 back then. Now it has a 416. This motor is actually, aftermarket block the other one was uh, a 370 stock block i think it was running like 560s yeah 560 so now it should pretty, be pretty impressive for being a full size full weight truck like this thing has everything inside literally 
all door panels, center console. I think they're they're getting a new uh. Plastic. Oh, he was working on it. Yeah, yeah. right now. So oh, it's right here. Yeah, there you go. So this truck is full interior, AC and everything. It even put a bed liner in the back. This is the real definition of a street truck. It doesn't get no more real than this. Like literally, if you put stocks on this truck, bro, you oh. can't even tell. You you don't even know it's fast. You don't even know it's fast except for the fucking bull exit. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a little loud. But <laughs> yeah. if you was to see it, oh fine. yeah, to the naked eye, it looks like any other truck. Yeah, but it is fast. It's definitely fucking. So uh, let's go with my boy Russell because it's getting late. All right, guys, so we talked to my boy Russell, and this guy, this is the actual plug for these motors. So, show us what, we, what you got, bro. So, what exactly are we buying? So, this is a, uh, a short block from uh, Fast Forward Racing Engines. Okay, I heard they, them guys are pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty good. Uh, that's actually the short block we have in the Little King Ranch. So okay. It's been holding up pretty good. We, have, we haven't had any issues with it, so. So, this is uh, a stock block sleeve. It's a Gen 3 block, uh -huh. boss crank, billet eye beam rods, pistons, sleeves, and o-ring. Okay. But yeah, so I got the low ring for the, holds up a little bit better on the head gasket. Oh, okay, okay. And then sleeve, so. How yeah. much, uh, how much these little motors handle? I mean, I haven't, I haven't blown mine, so I don't know. I don't know how much, <laughs> how much power you got. Cause I know the stock Coyotes, we got like 950 to a thousand with the, with the 100 shot of nitrous and the supercharger that we got, it has hold up, but obviously we're going to go turbos and we obviously need a bigger motor. So, so this is it right here. These guys been running it. We're going to try it out yeah. and hopefully if it blows, we're going to have to, we're going to be back here talking to Russell <laughs> and see if we got warranty on that shit. <laughs> so, uh, so they got fast forward engines and then they got the uh, RPGs. RPGs as well. And yeah. then there's another brand, right? I don't know. That's it. So, uh, there's a lot, but I guess the top people would be fast forward and RPG. TKM? TKM are good That's too. another one? Yeah, okay. TKM. So you pretty much work with most of them? Most of them, yeah. Okay. These are the ones I could get the quickest and they're short blocks, so it's easier to build them too. Be oh, super very sweet. Okay, Lotos, okay. yeah, more custom motors. Obviously, they take longer. Okay, okay, okay. Um, you know, depending on what cams and what heads. So this is, like I said, this is a stock 5.0 Coyote with sleeves and everything, mm -hmm. pistons and all that good stuff. And then there's another bigger motor, which is a 5.2. 5.2. Yeah, so yes. the, other, the other one is actually the same board. This is, they're both actually the same board, same okay. piston, crank. Look, it cambios. El block. El block. So I can show you. I don't have a 5.2 here, but I can kind of explain a little bit. Okay, yeah, explain So you got us. these little water patches here. Like uh-huh. On the 5.2, these are all closed out. The mastina is no chiquito. Oh, okay. So you have more meat around the I got cylinders you. from the block itself. So it's a thicker wall. A thicker wall, yeah. You and got then, thicker walls around the sleeve. So. Thicker and then with the sleeve. Okay. Exactly. So yeah. those, of course, they can handle a little bit more they power. They should handle more. Pero these, actually, I was uh, talking to Fast Forward because I was trying to upgrade to a 5.2 uh -huh. and do some stuff to the blue truck. And they're like, why do you want to upgrade? I was like, oh, I'm trying to do more. Like, this throw more. It. You're good. This is it. Uh, yeah. yeah. They told me, like, you won't blow it. So that's what they told me. <laughs> well, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. Also, these these, compared to the, because we don't usually mess with these Coyotes or whatever, but these are all aluminum motors. Aluminum right. block, aluminum. Oh, aluminum block. There's no option like on the LS, you get an iron block. Like, you know, I, okay. There's no option on iron or but, aftermarket blocks. The only aftermarket block would be a billet. Oh. It's okay. not like you have a dart, LS. Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 LS is cool because you have options. It's just either you go to a, a, the best one would be the 52 Predator, Gen 350. Or a billet. That's the only options you can. So Gen One, what's the year on the Gen One? What's the year in the Gen Two? And what's the year in the Gen Three? So Gen One, sale eleven to thirteen. Okay. Gen Two, fourteen, seventeen. And Gen then, three, eighteen, and twenty, and then twenty-one up plus is Gen fours. Oh, so yeah, we there's Gen fours already. Gen four, yeah, like the twenty-one F one fifty is sale uh, Gen four more. Yeah, I mean, with the people like DOD system. Okay, okay, okay. They don't have the oil pump gear stuff anymore. It's a belt driven oil pump, so you don't have that issue. Okay. The ventilation on the crank is better. Actually, on, I think on the Gen 4 5 was, if I'm not mistaken, it's almost like a 5.2 Predator. I think the, they have more meat around the cylinders. Okay, too. okay. So the Gen 4 is actually better than the rest of the, or? Yeah, well, I mean, nobody's really pushed that platform yet. Okay. Everybody, like we just did a truck, I mean, 900 to a stock motor, but obviously yeah, yeah, yeah. We, that's been done, you know, like with other older motors. So nobody's really pushed them to see any weak points yet. Better. of course yeah well this is the motor that we'll be picking up right here and we're gonna be like i said we're gonna be working on red bull here pretty soon because i mean the truck is not that fast it's fast but it's not that fast you know what i'm saying we can't go out with these guys and compete you know we're gonna we're gonna embarrass ourselves because these guys are obviously hauling ass so this is what we need to go faster of course we're gonna go twin turbo we're gonna take away the vmp with the nitrous my boy russell here is assuring me that we're gonna be hauling ass so yeah. i'm actually pretty excited about that i don't think you'll blow it because i've done some crazy shit i'll blow, blow up a lot of 
of stuff, bro. So I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take it back. <laughs> so this is it right here. Also, I need some tires. I need some. What is it? Three fifteens? No, 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 no. Some you need uh, some two seventy fives. No, no, not two seventy five. Three fifteens. Tienes or no? Three fifteens. We need some, cause. That's what I'm saying. Nah, bro. <laughs> yeah, these are 3, 15, 15, 17. I have 3, 15, 60, 15. This is the one I have. Is this the one I have or not? It's the Holly. It's the Holly. It's the 15, but it's 3, 15. Yeah. And you have here the 305, but no, this is different. I have the 3, 25, 15, 15. That's too big. No, that's too white. That's too white. Si, a rosa, más o menos esta. Nah, I'm gonna put 275, pero. No, no, no. Come on, bro. Yeah, no, nah. nah, you can keep that 275, bro. Si. <laughs> nah, I will keep it. I keep, I keep rolling with the 315. <laughs> so I'm gonna need two of these. Okay. And then we'll be taking the block, of course. Hey, if you guys haven't made it out here to Velocity, these guys actually carry a lot of the stuff in stock. There's, of course, a bunch of Circle D converters over there, intakes, wheels, a bunch of tires. Pretty much every size, right? Yeah, 17s. The most common stuff for racing, radio slicks and stuff. Bunch of welds, RC comps. Now, since Russell is known for the Fords, do you carry stuff for Chevys? Yes. What do you carry? You carry everything. Everything, yeah. So we got behind these uh, cam kits, okay. the, the leads, headers, obviously. And then we have everything to assemble the motor. So we got air pistols, head gaskets, all pumps, chains. So a little bit of everything, pretty much. We actually got some heads for Takashi from Russell. So he hooked us up with that. And I mean, they're right, like literally, down the street. Almost. Like we're <laughs> literally five minutes away, not even. Not it's even. around the corner. Yeah. It's a we're, over here. we're on the same <laughs> area code, so uh, it's it's pretty close. So if you need any parts, and if you're around the area, South Houston, Pasadena area, make sure to pull up. My boy will give you a discount. Just ask for the on the gas discount. You'll probably get like a little five percent off. You know how it works. So we're gonna be loading up the motor, the tires, and uh, let's go back to the shop. All right, guys. Before we head out, I forgot we actually had placed an order for some uh, carbon fiber parts. My boy Russell here is the only guy that has all this stuff in stock so of course carbon fiber hood he offers bumpers doors tailgate these are actually fiberglass as okay. well so i have fiberglass and carbon oh so if we got the regular fiberglass of course this is a little cheaper right yeah they're a lot cheaper if you have a Ford, because the Ford game is coming along real strong. If you have a Ford, you want to go fast, you want to get lighter, this is it right here. If you want to go the cheaper route, get your fiberglass. If you got that money, that bread. <laughs> yeah, bread, you come and get you this carbon fiber. Now, there's carbon hood, there's carbon doors, front bumper, rear bumper, tailgate, a little bit of everything. Who's that Pokemon? Carbon fiber. <laughs> So there's two styles of carbon fiber and this is the original style. We actually went with the, the forge, 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 which is kind of like the, the newest thing out right now. And uh, we are still waiting on that, right? Yes. I think Freddie came and picked up my shit. Oh, he, he done yeah. stole our yeah, shit. Yeah, he stole our shit, yeah, yeah. Cause he had told me it was already here, but uh, apparently it's not. So I think Freddie took it. But that's okay, you got more coming, right? I got more coming. So we're gonna wait on that. We're gonna be putting some uh, carbon fiber stuff on the Red Bull, get a little lighter motor, turbos, and getting lighter, bro. You know what that means? I'm gonna fuck some people up. I'm gonna fuck <laughs> up. I, I'm not a straight truck, bro. <laughs> I'm a dame. <laughs>